<laughs> was he working a checklist? Uh-huh. He's pretty big on checklists. Oh yeah. And like, he, uh, it's not on the checklist. He doesn't know what to do. Chang Chang Ch- Ch- took him off the bridge. I had to explain. Because <laughs> <Right? laughs> yeah. he was driving everyone on the bridge nuts. Really? Yeah. I tried to explain to him like how, how so. Uh, like, like he would freak out and just start. How long is it going to take for him to recover the LCAC? Debark, how long is it going to take for you to uh, bring in your LCAC that's standing off right now? I'm looking at another 10 to 12 minutes. I'm looking at 5 or under. It's going to take us about 5 or under. Okay, you go first. Roger, go first. Are we pulling up for first LCAC? Almost forgot about Debark. I always loved it when they asked the flight deck to uh, help out often supplies from cars and stuff. I'm like, hmm, for the ship? It's a shit all the time. Fucking big call up. You assholes take a fucking case of soda? If this is Hammerhead 6 2, you have a green deck, one's at 3 2 1 at 15, and uh, the LCAC is standing off for you to land. Sounds like they're bleeding over onto our frequency. Yeah, that's what it, it sounds. That's what I'm wondering. Are they using land launch frequency? Yeah, tell them that. Uh, hey, question for you. Could that be bleed over from the LCACs trying to call? It shouldn't be, sir. They should be using VHF circuits from the LCACs to hear VHF and the, the frequency. The frequency they are using are very far apart. Okay. I wasn't sure if they're using VHF or if they're. How much are they? Uh, how much cargo do they have? Uh, they didn't say how much, but they said hand carry. Really, guys, you did so well before, and now you're just fucking in the way. Well, keep him on deck until the LCAC is. Let me, let me uh, keep him on deck until, uh, until, uh, you know, the trailer. So, do you know what you're feeling like? Uh, Roger, we're going to drop off uh, packs and cargo, and he will lift, his, and uh, he will be clear. Oh, Next aircraft uh, might be delayed uh, due to weather. Well, we lost like two computers and mouse. Almost a camera. Like, come on there first. Work with us here. I thought you wanted to wait till the LCAC. Yeah. It's like, bring him in. I'm going to be a minute. Hey, yeah, I see one. Is that Saunders there? Tower. Uh, can you give us a pyro? Uh, 
know, we, he's only got uh, five, six miles of fizz right now. It's uh, little pockets of mist here and there. Uh, as soon as you get... They have switched over to the UHS circuit, and it's within a meg of each other. So you're you're getting bleed over from the LCAC. So because the LCAC's actually on 8,008 right now, but uh, yeah, they switched over to their UHS circuit. Why I don't know, but she said that's the one they asked her for this morning. So that's the one they tested, and because I believe secondary land launches in the threes, maybe I don't I don't remember exactly where it was. Uh, 326. 326. I thought it was somewhere in the three. We'll see. It's beautiful out to the ship. We have uh, small pockets of mist. Uh, five to six miles visibility, thousand foot ceilings, well within VFR guidelines. Uh, that information was passed to Captain Perkow, who's passing it to the Cobra and UH-1 at this time. Okay, so that's the, uh, I assume it's fog, and you remember what the fog is in? That's affirmative. The, uh, field is calling I IFR at the field, uh, and it's just a matter of them, uh, getting on an IFR flight plan, getting away from, uh, from the airfield, and then they can Go to VFR plus. Copy. I've had a couple minutes. Yeah, I'll present a request then when you go out and uh, stay, which uh, might die. Uh, Copy that. Uh, Flight deck, Hammerhead 62, clear lift on LSC signal. Tower, Red Deck. 